You want to introduce? Yeah. Go first. Okay. Hey, everybody. Um, welcome back. We hope that you're staying safe during the coronavirus <laughs> pandemic. I'm Jake. I'm the Director of Business Development here at LiDAR USA. And I'm Jeff. I'm the founder and CEO of LiDAR USA. Today, we want to uh, tell you guys a little bit about the Elite Mobile Mapping System, the Highway Mapper ZNF. Um, this is considered to be one of the top of the line products in this industry for mobile mapping. Um, Jeff, can you tell us a little bit about the specs and what the capabilities of this system are? Yeah, so this uses ZNF Profiler 9012, which is a half a millimeter scanner at like within a few meters out to maybe a centimeter out to 119 meters, okay? Spins at, uh, man, what does it spin at? 200 hertz and collects uh, over a million points a second. So very accurate, very high density, and the super good accuracy at the, like the 0.5 millimeter, one millimeter type stuff is really good for finding cracks. It's kind of like the de facto standard system for the high speed rail where, you know, finding all the little nuances, any little bump or anything. This is the system, whether you use it as a single scanner or a dual scanner system. Um, the key with us is, and I don't know if you're gonna show it, but we're gonna, we got it mounted so we can rotate this thing. So if you have just one scanner, uh, after you get it up there, which, you know, it's really light, so one small lady can lift that up there, or two jakes. But, uh, yeah, so see how it rotates right there? That lets you then scan. You don't have to have two scanners to make a butterfly to get good coverage. You can scan with one, just flat like it is there, and then you can rotate it to the left, and then pass by again, then rotate it again uh, to the right, and pass by again. So it looks like you had three scanners when you scan, and that gives you just tons of data on the ground. So if we have it combined with the ladybug uh, for 360 viewing um, to give the imagery. Uh, we got an easy on, easy off mount. It's just that it takes some heft to get it up there, yep. as you know. Yep. <laughs> it's a little bit hefty. It fits in a single case, which is really nice. The uh, top part or the camera uh, is a double hinge, you know, it hooks, so it sits down and sits into the case much better. It's a custom foam cut case. You know, it makes shipping a little bit more, but it's one case, it's not gigantic. It's actually smaller, I think, than the DJI M600 case. So it's not huge. It might weigh a little more, but it's not huge. Um, and we got, you know, variety of roof mounts to, depending on the vehicle you put it on. Uh, the nice thing is the ladybug's up high, the scanner's up high, very configurable, it's extremely robust. It's just, it's got the ZNF name behind it. I mean, it's a really good system. So, you know, you can find other products out there in the market like it, like from Leica has one, Mitsubishi has one, uh, Sateco has one. There's a bunch of other companies that have them. Uh, ours has some advantages over the others. Um, a, it's definitely less cost. Um, it's all, all assembled here, other than the scanner, it's all assembled here in the United States. Um, comes with our ScanLook software, which has a lot of nice features in it. It uh, can be configured with a variety of different INSs. So we can have a less expensive INS, or we can have a really expensive INS, whatever you want. Um, it all depends on what you're trying to do with it. All right, so Jeff, can you tell us a little bit about the INS and maybe how this stands against some of its competitor? Yeah, so as I said, it's it's configurable, but the really nice thing about it is we can use the Honeywell INS, which is a new INS for them and for us, which is a very high accuracy INS. It's small, it's light, we don't want to add any weight to the system, but very good performance. We did some extensive yeah. testing with this uh, in really heavily wooded, hilly, windy roads and stuff. So we know how it performs, it performs really well. And as far as price goes, it's priced very competitively, well under $500,000, which puts us up there with the G, you could buy like almost buy two of ours, price of some of our competitors. Um, so it's very configurable. Uh, power supply, normally we don't tie it into the vehicle. We would use an external power supply that's also fairly big because it does suck a lot of power, but I mean, it's, it's an awesome system. You can definitely hear it when you start it up. I mean, it's spinning at 200 hertz and it's got a lot of power. It's a it's a really nice system. To, once you get going, it does it just takes a few minutes once you get it mounted on a roof and the cable hooked up to it, all Wi-Fi controlled again, um, just like any of our applications. So we have customers right now that have like a Velodyne puck. They already know how to use our system. And they're like, well, I've been using the puck to do UAV work. I, I think I could bid this highway job. So we're like, well, you can rent this from us. You can buy it, of course, or you can rent it from us because you already know how to use it. So that's the nice thing is once you're part of the our USA family, 
If you don't have a higher end system like this, but you want to bid on that job because that's your client, you don't want to give that client away to somebody else, you have that opportunity yes. without having to invest in it. Yep. So we like this so much, we like to keep these on inventory. Um, if you're interested in learn, learning more about this, please uh, give us a call and ask for someone in the sales department and we'd be glad to uh, talk to you about it. Yeah, thank you very much.